I'm Susan Sherwin, and I got a great new project for you today. I think we need to be more proactive about thinking about this corona beast. Let's write a book and let's kill it. Let's triumph over it, okay? So, here's our title page. I want you to put some background or foreground in it. I just gave you the letters. Okay, here's the first part. We're gonna draw the beast, all right? Let's come on in. Um, I'm not really good at beasts. I'm not really good at making them scary enough. So this is how I'm gonna teach you how to do this. And I'm helping myself get a scary beast too. Uh, first of all, we're gonna start with the pink stuff because there are pink blobs on these, this coronavirus, okay? And now we're gonna put some eyes on. Do not put the eyes equal and symmetrical. We want them asymmetrical and random. So I'm gonna put one eye here and a really big eye there, okay? And we're gonna put the pupil here and the pupil there. All right, you can see how they're not the same size and they're not even. They're sort of all over the place. And I'm gonna give it a little, some little red veins to make it look bloodshot. Don't know if these eyes are bloodshot or not, but we're gonna do it because it looks scary. You can take your time and do this more precisely if you want to. All right, next thing we're gonna do is put in some uh, scary hands. And let's do three. Just to, just to be weird. Okay, and now we got to put on some some nails, some claws. Make these scary because got to give it some power. Now, if you've come up with something else that that your your coronavirus has, um, fine. Just add it. Okay. Now let's do a mouth. This is like. Um, um, you might put a mouth here, but let's not. Let's put the mouth up here. So we're going to make it like a pumpkin, all right? All right. And maybe we'll put that together. So there's our mouth. All right. So we've got a monster coming, and it's not symmetrical, that it's pointy. And now we want to put some ugly colors in too. All right? So just start working it and see where it comes out. All right? Here's our beast. Now it's time for the superhero. I would love this to be you. If you can draw you as a superhero battling the beast, that would be great. But a lot of people find that hard to do. So it could be your hero. It could be somebody else. And just to give you some place to start, I've drawn a little bit of a sketch for you. Now, as you can see, this is the outside of the legs and this is around the arms. You're gonna have to fill in the whole face and everything else. So feel free to go across these lines or change or do whatever you want. This is just to give you a little head start, okay? So you're gonna to want to address a few things. You're gonna to wanna to do something on the head you're gonna to wanna to do some kind of mask or goggles. You're gonna to want to do a superhero outfit, which is usually tight. It might have a cape, it might have gloves, it might have a utility belt, it probably has some weapons. So see what you can come up with, all right? So hopefully this is you as a superhero. Okay, we're gonna take our superhero and have it fight against the corona beast. Now, to give you a little head start, I've given you the outline of a, a person battling. And I've tried to give you as little as possible. So this is, here's the head, there's the lower side of the arm, you have to put the other side in, and maybe there's costume or something going around this. You can put weapons, in each of the hands. You can have extra things strapped to the body. 
here's a foot, there's a foot. That's the top of the leg and the back of the leg. So then you'll have to draw this in. But I think this will give you a good start for the battle. And now the hero is in the foreground. The monster, the beast, is in the background. Okay, so first draw your superhero and then draw your monster behind it in the background. Okay, your monster could be whatever size you want. All right, we're at the last part. This is the victory. Here's my head start for you, okay? Here is our superhero with the hands on the hips and maybe on top, and this leg is on top of something down here. You could draw in a background, which might be your neighborhood. And your, your dead um, monster goes down here under your superhero. So your superhero and your monster are in the foreground, and then you can draw your neighborhood in the background. Okay? One little trick. When you draw your monster, draw the eyes like this. This has traditionally been a way that cartoonists show that it's dead, okay? That's one of the ways, but you can be gory and it can be messy and you can have a lot of fun with this. But this is our victory.